Brendan, I'm not going to miss Cole Lind. Will you miss Cole Lind? And should Canucks fans miss Cole Lind? Well, I, I guess that remains to be seen, to be honest. But I, in the immediate moment, the answer is probably not. And I like Cole Lind as a guy, uh, you know, having interviewed him a few times and covered him in the Western League when he was with the Rockets. was a great player in Kelowna. Uh, is a great young kid who I hope the best for. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, if you were going to lose a player, uh, Cole Lind is not a, a franchise player. He's not someone that you were penciling in on your NHL roster next season. So, you know, it always hurts to lose a player that could have some sort of upside. Um, but, you know, the limited sample size we saw from Cole Lind in the NHL level last year certainly you know, makes you believe that he's probably not ready for that jump just yet. So if you were going to lose a player, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, staying awake tonight, staring at the ceiling going, Oh no, what are we going to do without Cole Lind? I guess let's put it that way. Well, Bre- <laughs> well Brent, Brendan, I just want to let you know that, you know, I wouldn't care to live if we don't consider Cole Lind to be a franchise player. I, I, I've been, <laughs> I, I've been under the understanding that this man was, was, you know, Jim Benning's at the draft floor being like, why is nobody taking Cole Lynn? That's what we were all thinking. And then and he shows- we're sitting here going, wait a minute, why are, why are they taking Cole Lynn? What are they doing? We need him. <laughs> <laughs> why aren't they taking Braden Holtby? I don't understand. Well, that would have been nice. That, that would have been the preferred option. Although, um, you know, from some of the chatter, it sounds like Braden Holtby could be available in trade talks relatively soon. Anyway, so maybe they find a way to, to move on from Braden Holtby as well. 